Data East uh, Tales from the Crypt. A lot of these were made, and boy, it sold really well. This specific machine is in great shape. Uh, Jason has done his wonders. I want to show you on the play field. We got the red LEDs up here in this area. We have green LEDs here. We have white to get some uh, brightness here. We have red under the two slingshots. Uh, we have white on this side. We have a color changer here that reflects here. So when you're actually playing the game, this uh, silver ramp changes colors. It's actually pretty sharp. Uh, I wanted to show you something too. Here's a little trick. A lot of people use these silver metal washers, but see these? These are clear washers. They're real thick. They're made out of Lexan. 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 <laughs> Lexan. Uh, these are from uh, super checks, bubble hockeys that hold the players onto the play field. So we buy boatloads of these from them. They're pre-cut. They're just the right thickness, and boy, they will never break. That plastic's protected for the life of the machine and you can't even see them. Isn't that a great mod? Uh, Jason came up with that. Um, he's got LEDs over here on these sides. Um, look at the uh, cabinet. Oh, um, Stephen repainted our face. Look, it's the original door handle. Hard to find them. How many of these Tales from the Crypt have you seen that has just a push button on it? Because this broke and is, is gone. But this one's still intact. We did some touch up on the side. You can't even tell. We did a lot of uh, black touch up here. You can't tell either, once again. And then a color, uh, he does wonders matching the colors on this side too. How do you think he could match the colors of my face? Do you think, Stephen? Stephen, do you think he could do, do look at Look what Stephen's doing. Stephen is now doing. Stephen, could you match up my face pretty well? We could yeah, match it or something. Some paint that looks like dirt. <laughs> oh, you're fired. <sighs> By the way, you'll see that one. That's the Space Invaders. Anniversary edition. I'm going to show you that video soon. Anyway, um, oh, um, in the head, I wanted to show you uh, the game originally had a couple flashes up in the corners here, um, but uh, we put warm white here in the center that lights his face. It gives his face uh, more of a glow, and then we have the cool white on the other side. And I guess, as a lot of you know, um, we have new caps in the power supply. We've Reflowed silver solder everywhere, uh, lithium battery, solder connections all over the machine. Um, it's um, also, look, remember I showed you that in another video. A new connector, and we reflowed solder here, and your display will never go dark. That's a very important must these days on the Data East and especially the Sega games that have that big display. You really have to do that. And you know, once it's in your house, you're not going to have it on that much. It's never, ever going to go bad again. Never. Anyway, let's give it a start. Um, and as you know, I can't play pinball for a day like summer. Oh, you know, it does have the, uh, the uh, I forgot to mention, it has a knock or a um, uh, motor inside, a uh, vibration. Very effective. Um, it doesn't vibrate too much. Um, although the guy buying this machine did tell me, can I unplug the motor if I don't like it? I said, yeah, just reach inside the front door and unplug it. Have a new uh, drop target decals. Um, of course, we always change those targets. They get slammed into. I don't know if a lot of you knew that. This upper flipper coil is unique. It's only used in this one game. So this particular flipper coil, um, it's a, a lower wattage, so it doesn't smash the targets. I, although it still does anyway, <laughs> but uh, it's a little, little less, it's a little easier on that. It doesn't hurt it as much. Sometimes we open these machines up and somebody's put a real strong coil in there, and that dooms those targets. So this is the original factory one. I think it ends in 41. But uh, we always make sure that's back to normal because we don't want the customer calling and saying the target's broken again. So that never works. But anyway, this baby is going out tonight. How about renting a game for your next party? My daughter Terry will tell you all about renting games for your next event. Do you want your next party to be a big hit? Rent one or more of our games for your next event. We have both old and new pinball machines. Or a game that up to four people can play at the same time. Touchscreen games are a lot of fun. Or how about a bubble hockey? 
our delivery men bring them in and set them up. We even have two boxes. Go to our website for more information at tntamusements.com. We're in the yellow pages under amusements.